Zany boy. Hello. Here we are. In what I did not expect to be our... I don't know, would we call this like a sequel video? Yeah, I mean, canonical, canonically, it is the next game in the Metroid series after Super. I, I did not think that we would be doing Metroid Fusion as our first sequel. But here we are playing Metroid Fusion. The reason for this is, I guess one of the first things you're going to notice is that uh, this is not Spyro the Dragon. It is Spyro the Dragon. Like I said, at the end of NAC, we would be See, playing. See, the best uh, RNG. Haha, <laughs> that was a throwback to our... <laughs> Wait, what? Well, I don't, so I don't watch our watch shit. Our Metroid. I don't watch our shit. <laughs> watch Metroid playthrough. I edited all of it, I watched none of it. <laughs> um... But we're, we're playing this because we're going to be doing uh, some channel stuff here at the beginning of November. And we needed something to fill five weeks of content. So about, you know, two and a half hours roughly of gameplay. And we're sitting here thinking, you know, what is a game... Because neither you guys or us cared about Sonic Mania. Yeah, we had, stuff happened with Sonic Mania. Knack was fun, though. <laughs> I had a good time with Knack. Yeah, I um, think 20 minutes was my limit. Spy Spyro the Dragon <laughs> will be coming, but it will not be here yet. Um, so we're doing... Uh, Keep a look at that for another couple of months. <laughs> we're going to be doing Metroid Fusion for the next five weeks. And we decided on that because we were just kind of thinking, like, what's a game that we can beat in about two and a half hours? I'm like, well, I think I can do Metroid Fusion in that amount of time. So here we are. This is my fifth playthrough of Metroid Fusion in about five days. I've been playing it nonstop on a Game Boy, making sure I'm ready for this, you know, uh, practicing, getting all that stuff done. So I more or less know exactly what to do um not gonna be doing 100 percent on this to say the least like a casual i'm gonna call it right now and say 44 or 45 percent um that's roughly what i've been averaging i'm gonna say 46 percent 46 percent can be the closest without going over i bet mm -hmm. <laughs> um i know we talked briefly about metroid fusion during our super run but this was my first metroid game and that was that was before i had played fusion Oh, you've uh, played Fusion since then? Yeah. I, oh, cool. I was doing it during our uh, the second half of our Dead Rising stuff. That means this is relatively fresh in your mind. Yeah, for the most part. That was uh, a couple of months ago. Okay. I understand why people have qualms with this Metroid game. I, I get it. It's very linear. It's... I mean, I, one would even say it's Baby's first Metroid. And it was myself, as a baby, my first Metroid. I remember getting this when my mother and I were taking a trip somewhere, and I got this to play, and I ended up uh, really, really enjoying it. That was kind of what began my affection for Metroid. But it doesn't do a lot of the kind of, I guess you'd say, Metroid trappings because it's very, very linear. Um, you're not really going and, like, exploring a huge thing. You're kind of, like, being led to these different zones and then progressing through them in a way. So it's honestly more of a 2D action platformer than it is a Metroid game. Which, I mean, it's okay, but... What I really enjoy about this... I like this, Zero Mission and Fusion. Fusion. Uh, Zero Mission... Um, super a lot better. Zero Mission is my favorite actual Metroid. AM2R is my favorite non-actual Metroid. Um, but this one, and playing through it all these times, it's really kind of hit that home with me. I not only think it's a good entry point in the series, but it is, okay. hands down, the best story and writing in a Metroid game. Yeah. I, I mean... I, I, what would you say? Like, do you honestly think another one is written well? I mean, I don't really think the point of Metroid is a, well, is a story. But know? I mean, why why can't you have good writing and good character development? It's like Sam, like this does, I think, what Other M attempted writing wise, except actually lands on this, all of it. No, this is a proto Other M. But I mean, it's like it, they're both going for a, a, I wouldn't say a more narrative experience, but they're both going and attempting to do Metroid narrative stuff. And this one lands it where his other end. I don't know. Not. I just it doesn't seem necessary because I don't really care the mo the part of Samus's backstory that I care about. I don't know what the fucks up with the Chozos. And I don't know what's going on. Another reason that. I like this game is because there aren't any Chozos. I like. I get like, it. It's a. I want to know what was going on with that. I don't care about her time in the Federation. See, I, I don't care about her commanding officer and all that bullshit. I just. I like my strong, badass Samus is like, all right, I'm here to do my job. It's like two o'clock. I can wipe this up in an hour. I'll kill all these Metroids and I'll I, go home. I, I like it. And I realize it's a, a video game. And I get that the reason... Because I'm not saying video games can't have good story or some of them. I, 
I, I don't think it's necessary in, in Metroid. I appreciate it. I don't it in care this one. about it in Metroid. I appreciate it in this one. Like, if there's just background lore stuff, like in the Prime series where you can just scan everything and get lore and shit like that, that's fine, but it's not like a focus. And I don't feel that that is the focus of this, but I think it's this game's strongest attribute. And also, I like. I think the ship <sighs> does not look good in this game. I want to throw that out there right now. Well, yeah, um, it's, not, it's not her ship. Her, her man, her gunship her, looks great. Her gunship got blown the fuck up. I know. Well, she more got crashed, but um, I also did it blow up in the crash. I, I probably. It got blown. You say it got blown up. It makes it sound like space pirates blew it up. Um. I also know your feelings about... Okay, I guess there's really quick before we go back to the aesthetic. This is just something this game fucking does. Is it is going to give us the map of every area right when we go into the area. Now, Zero Mission also does some stuff with like giving you the map and things like that. But like this one, it is telling you directly where to go. Like, And it often just kind of blocks off your path. Like That's what mm -hmm. I mean by this being a very linear game. Because... Zero mission, it'll do... It won't give you the map. You, can get, you, you like, can get the map. Well, I mean, you can get the map in Super. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, you will get maps. Yeah. But in Zero Mission, they do the thing where it's like, oh, here's this pulsing yellow thing. Yeah, it's like they give you a direction. Vaguely over there. Go over there and you'll progress whatever. Now, this also doesn't give you all you of the map. you also don't have to follow that. This doesn't give you all of the map, but it does give you... Because you're like, well, it's sort of like you'll like be going behind the rooms and stuff like in the... The, like, rigging and... Like, kind of like in Portal when you exit no, yeah, uh, no. that stuff. Um, it does. You'll be going into that area, so it's not like this is the only play area we have. And some areas do a lot more with that than others do. Uh, Sector 2, specifically, is going to do a lot with that. Um, but anyway, also, yeah, that, just explaining that really quick. But going back to, like, the visuals and stuff, this suit looks oh, like boy. shit. This suit looks like shit. Mm -hmm. And I, if you want to talk about things like that, what are Samus to me? It's big honking shoulders, and this game ain't got no big honking shoulders. I like the blue and yellow color scheme; like I think that looks nice. But like when, sprite wise, like this, it looks okay. Yeah, it looks fine. But when it goes but into like time it the, zooms the, in yeah, on her, it's like, it looks oh, just like fucking shit. ugly. Looks like shit. The various suit specifically, the one we'll be Varia getting is the worst. That Varia is the worst is looking the worst suit that has suit ever existed in a Metroid game. Holy shit, it looks bad. Because the gravity suit looks... I always like the gravity suit. I, see, I think the orange and green, baby. Oh, man. Just fucking... Because Samus goes, Returns has some great looking suit. It goes suit. gravity suit, Varia suit, and then like her kind of weird skinny suit thing. The zero suit? No, it's like when she just has like the... Oh, yeah. The, the, the shoulder pads. The cylindrical, yeah. conical yeah. pauldrons. Oh, we're, we're sorry. We're skipping the story here. I will explain it as needed. All right, here, I guess I'll give the background of the story here really quick. So we, this takes place after um, Super Metroid, after we've gone and, you know, done all that shit. And there are no Metroids left or any of that. And this parasite organism, the X, have just gone rampant on SR-388. SR Wait, was that blown up SR-388. SR-388. They have just gone rampant on there because the Metroids, which were their natural predators, are all ex are fucking gone. So um, they're just going hog wild and eating everything. So Samus and the Federation, which you kind of saw in the beginning, like little cutscene part there. Oh, shit. Uh, beginning cutscene part there went and we're doing shit. Samus blows up an enemy and then oh, God, you got to do these navigation rooms all the time mm -hmm. uh, to progress. Um, and this parasite comes out and it gets into Samus and it infects her. It, she gets infected with this shit and it's like, okay, she's like fusing with her suit. It's like, she's going to die. But then and they... Normally Samus can just be like, okay, I'm taking this off. But, but yeah, it's like... She it's, got rendered unconscious and then the Federation were like, well, I guess we'll just cut this shit off of her. And it's like, oh shit, this shit's fusing to her. Um, Metroid fusing to her. Okay. And... They have to use a vaccine out of the infant Metroid that she saved at the end of 2? Metroid 2? Like this. This fucking looks bad. God, that looks bad. Uh, whatever. Um, so they use the vaccine out of the baby Metroid to save her, and it causes her to become this, like, Metroid-human hybrid with this weird bioorganic suit and stuff. So we can absorb X parasites to get, you know, health and missiles and stuff. It just works. Don't gotta explain it. That I'm willing to just buy. It's fucking magic. It's magic. Oh shit, I didn't need to go to the navigation room. I'm wasting time. Oh, you idiot! Wasting time. Um, and we're so never gonna get booby ending. We're on the space station, and the X 
have broken out and are kind of going rampant and stuff. So it's like, you know, we need to go around and take care of this shit. So these things can mimic hosts and transform themselves, which we're going to be seeing with all of the bosses in the game. And pretty much every single enemy in the game. Yeah. And uh, when we, you know, beat big ones like the core X's and stuff like that, like they will give us new abilities. Now I want to just say... This is something I, one of the things, again, with the writing, I really, really appreciate about this game. And the thing I was trying to lead into earlier with, I understand it is a video game and Samus will lose her powers at the beginning of every fucking thing. I never buy it. Like, it's always just kind of like, well, fucking, of course. This one, I buy it. It makes sense in this. I understand. There's not just a bunch of fucking Chozo statues out just lying around for no goddamn reason that gives Samus fucking upgrades whenever. Like, it makes sense. It's because the Chozos were like, hey, I live everywhere. It's, but I mean, but just like fucking what? Just fucking what, Zane? Come on. <laughs> and I like, I like that it has, like, it makes sense to me. And I, again, I know that that is not the focus of the game, but I really, really appreciate it because that's like one of my biggest hangups in Metroid of just like, this is... Okay, sure, whatever. Because I think it's really dumb and prime. We're just like, doo, doo, doo. oh no, a big explosion, I got knocked into the elevator and all but my shit fell? It's dumb in all of them, like that she loses it every fucking game. This one, I don't know, I just like, I get it. And I and I like that about this one. Well, Super, it's just kind of a... I mean, since Super's it's a, a reboot. Remake. Super's it's pretty like, much, yeah, it's like oh a reboot gosh. of the first one, that makes sense. And then 2 was kind of... It was a weird Game Boy game. But, I mean, it's not anymore. True, but it, well, at the time it yeah, was. Yeah, but now it's not. I'm just saying, like, what fucking... Ah, whatever. It, it bugs me. I don't like it, and I'm glad it... Uh, here, I'm whiffing this. I haven't been talking while I've been playing this for the last five days. Um, when are they going to remake Zero Mission? <laughs> oh, God, I would love that. Did they put that on the virtual console? It, I would guess that it is, but I don't think I own it because I have it on Game Boy Advance, whereas I don't... Because it seems dumb like the, if they didn't. I think they... I'm guessing they did, but I don't know. Um, we, we are playing this on the Wii U, uh, by the way, for ease of recording instead of doing it off of the Game Boy Player. Because Dash is a fucking punk bitch. This is easier to record and it will look punk a Punk bitch! That's right. Oh shit, I used all my missiles. <laughs> Whoopsie doodles! So then, I, uh, I did not like this bit about shit. it. Shit. About, uh, zero. Shit, I used fusion. all my missiles. Just this is off to a beautiful beam. start. I don't have a charge beam. I know, just use the charge oh, beam. Oh, okay. Because I hated fighting a boss and then having to do this shit. It was just, it was really annoying. It is a little redundant. Some of the bosses, um, it was like, the beam, just skin of my ass. Certain ones I understand. And then those things but, kill me, and then I have to fucking do the boss all over again. Like, all again. the special beam ones would be kind of nice, but I definitely think that they maybe should have omitted it from every boss. Because it, it is repetitive, it's not particularly challenging. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, I don't think this game is perfect. And I, I don't want to seem like I think that this is my favorite Metroid game. Zero Mission is my favorite Metroid. This is his favorite Metroid game. But I think that this game gets a bad rap in a lot of ways and i would like to be the metroid fusion apologist it's baby's first metroid Dash. it is baby's it's first just... metroid though okay but not not there yet that'll be way later but i, I don't know is there really any more backstory i need to do with this game? no not really we're gonna be doing these navigation rooms a lot where our ship's ai um is... adam we call him adam you dick because it's that was it's a, adam that's, malkovich that's a spoiler who cares? Okay, thank you. Just right off the bat. So we will discuss it, whatever. It's out in there. So any, um, Samus will make reference to this old commanding officer she used to have, Adam Malkovich. Sean brought up what may or may not have been his corpse. It wasn't. In the Super Metroid run. It, That's, it, there, Sean, it, there's Sean, a frozen it wasn't. Ridley in that room over there. We'll see that later. Or a Fridley. Yeah, Fridley. A frigid Fridley. Ridley. <laughs> Fridley's, believe it or not. <laughs> Um, I think we did a Ridley's Believe It or Not joke in the Super Metroid 2. Just in case. We're going to do a lot of repeat jokes, <laughs> like when we get a Dave Matthews beam. Uh, we're going to talk about Comedy Central original series a lot. It's all just going to be the same jokes you heard in Super Metroid, so strap in, folks. Yeah, I'm going to say some things I regret saying. <laughs> well, I'll be good. Oh, this is another thing. I like the SAX. I think the SAX is cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's trope in video games of just like the superpower thing that's kind of just like fucking with you the entire time. I think that's great, and you can't even fucking touch it. Now, do you think there's an actual body in that suit, or was that just like Samus's face? I imagine it's like kind that. of reanimated armor. But no, I, but that was clearly Samus's face. Though. I mean, but it could just be like a 
like a weird just like thing up in there. Yeah, you think it's just like when you put silly putty on like yeah a comic strip and then you have that comic strip yeah, on you can there. Yeah, stretch out like, the SAX's face, splat it up against your visor. Did you ever see Captain N? Oh, no, Captain I've never N? watched Captain. I'm familiar with it, but no, I've never watched Captain yeah. N. Did you ever see Mother Brain from Captain N? I think I have. It's like that. <laughs> 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 was it Mother Brain the primary antagonist of that? Captain N. It was like yeah. Mother Brain, King Hippo, the of eggplant course. wizard from Good. Kid Icarus. Good, okay. Um, maybe Donkey Kong? <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, because that was uh, before Donkey Kong turned face. I've, I've seen like maybe two episodes of Captain N, and it was real dumb. Sorry, Jimmy, whatever your name is. I know that's Neutron. your favorite, uh, if you're watching. Jimmy who? You, it's like Jimmy Wetzel or something. I'm not familiar. I'm sorry. He uh, he created the Captain N, the Next Generation the... YouTube series. Oh, he's a lar. He's a a very fat autistic. You're one man. to talk. You are one to talk. No, like bigger than me. Like Boogie Big. Not Boogie's Boogie losing, Big. Boogie's losing weight though. Good for him. He's like. It's been Boogie almost in die. between. I don't know. I don't. I don't pay attention to Yeah, yes, I don't really do that much East Love. Uh, so anyway, so this area we're in now is Sector 1, which is like a replica of SR388. And X have gone, and they're fucking up the vent. Okay, no, I... All five playthroughs, I have made a mental note not to kill these guys in this area. Because <laughs> they, they turn make, into those fuckers. They turn into those fuckers, and every time I have done it... Um, I'm gonna by and large just kind of be running past stuff here, because I'm not... I won't call this a speed run by any stretch of the imagination, but I am... I'm on a bit of a time crunch right now, and I'm going to try to beat this relatively quickly. I'm going to find out this guy's name. Jimmy Wetzel? It's not Jimmy Wetzel. Oh. Jimmy Weasel? Shit, did I go the wrong way already? I think his name is Jimmy. Anyway. James Wetzel? He's a large, very autistic man um, who oh. loves Captain N, the Game Master, so much that he made his own web series about it, where it's like, it's him in the Captain N jacket. And then Which, he'll By the way, I just want to throw out I would own that jacket. He then talks to uh, pictures of characters from Nintendo games. Does he do the voices? Yeah, he does the voices. Good. He does all the voices. Good. Goku is there. Nice. Okay. As any good um, fan fiction should have. It's just, it's a, it's a ride. Here are Space Pirate X's. It's just, it's a time and a half. If you ever get a chance, just. Just watch some Captain N, The Next yeah, Generation. I, I don't think I want to. Just watch some, Dad. I gotta say, you have not pitched it very well. It's like... I hate the, I hate the climbing in this. I'll also say that. Like, I, oh, I yeah. never I do it like very it. well. It's just slow. It's slow, and it's like it doesn't stick when I want it to. Dash, I thought you said you weren't gonna say it. You weren't gonna say it. What? You said... Zane, God... <laughs> Now I have to go back through and fucking censor this, because that's going to reveal the thing I actually said. You're the worst. Making me do more work on this. I have to get this episode out in a day. It is a Tuesday right now. This is going to go up on, on Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, I know. Well, you're welcome for the thumbnail. Yeah, yeah, that thumbnail you made. Did you make a thumbnail, Zane? Zane did Zane make a thumbnail? Does they make so a better you, thumbnail as he hey, you read the last three texts there. Oh, so you actually got yeah, it. Okay. Asshole. You yeah, know, it's like we've told him we were gonna pay him for the thumbnails all this time and pay him in soda. Pay him but I mean we I haven't even I, done that. I, I think I've done it once. Oh I haven't. I then texted him earlier today, I will buy you two twenty four packs of soda if you get your license by the tenth. And no response. But oh. I mean, he didn't respond to Shit. the I'll, uh, I'll thumbnail buy him fucking things. Five fucking 12 packs. He calls his. I'll, I'll buy him a flat from Costco <laughs> if he calls his fucking uncle. You hear that, Hunter? I know you're watching. Uh, you're probably watching. You're probably watching. Maybe not the day it comes out, but I'll buy you a fucking flat of soda from Costco if you call your goddamn uncle. Okay, now I gotta do this accurately because these things take three missiles scale and I only have three missiles. It's just going to be that. This is RNG also. I know. Okay, we should be fine. Careful, Dash. Cool. It's good RNG. Hey. Going to set up later, save some seconds. Uh, this is where we are going to get the charge beam, though. 
and all of the beam X's act like this where they're the spiky ones. They're going to have an eye that opens up. When you hit them with a missile, it shoots whatever beam you're about to get from them. So you want to like shoot and jump over. So you know that spider boss in this? Uh, yes. That gives you the space jump. Shit. Like, Shit, he has a really weird name that does not fit, but I can't remember what it is right now. Crocomire. It's... Crocomire. Ridley. Craid. It's like Jacob the Spider, some <laughs> shit like that. Uh, this one, I forget if... Did Zero Mission have a thing where you could, like, charge and then do, like, the ghetto screw attack? Yeah, Super had that. Okay. Er, okay. And, um... Samus Returns has that, too. Yeah. Okay. Because I know, like, the newer ones have it, so it's like... Oh, I, it's Yakuza. The, the spider's spider? name is Yakuza. As, okay, sure. Which is weird. Kind of badass. That boss is one of the two things that might trip me... Or, not that boss specifically, but the area right after that boss is one of the couple things that may trip me up in this. I don't really remember what area it is. Last playthrough I did, I died one time. Ooh. And that was due to a dumb mistake. What an idiot. Or like, please get away from the laptop vent again. Hey, come here. Come here, stupid. You're so mean to her. That's fine, she doesn't understand. Yes, I do, Zane. I've always Father, I understand. <laughs> you know, that I was thinking about it the other day. 20 minutes to stop talking about Metroid. It's becoming exceedingly efficient. It's weird to me that people refer to their animals, their pets, as like their children. But it, it always, my cats are my babies, are you kidding me? I don't know, it kind of bugs me. The like, thing that bugs me being is... Being like, oh, I'm her father. It's like, well, No, she's my, never, really. she's my baby. She's my baby girl. Like, I'll call Morlax my little baby, but that's not really... Did I, I don't uh, mean it in like a, oh, you were my daughter sort of way. It's just like, hey. It's like when you call your significant other babe. It's just a term of an endearment. Did you go the wrong way, Dash? I think I skipped one. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, Unless I didn't. But I don't know. It always kind of bugs me. It's like, no, she's... She's like a fuzzy no, companion. I think that... Not my daughter. I think that the music changes. Is the thing. Same thing with, like, when you go to the vet and... See, that's the thing I was give, about to bring up. You give your... Pet, it's like, oh, hey, yeah, here's Morlax. And then... Morlax like, Briggs. Oh, is Morlax it. Briggs. It's like, no. See, that's it's, weird. No, the... The cat does not take on my last name. No, they, they don't. It, it's like Madonna. It's just the one name. Okay, wait, no, I think I've got everything. I'm fine. Oh, God, I hope. Okay, whoo, whoo. Okay, I was going to say, like, I thought I got them all, but... Hey, stupid. For some reason, I thought that the uh, music changed. Come here. Come here. Yeah, it's just okay. clapping yeah. by the microphone. Come, come here. That's what walking in front of the... Yeah, yeah, you're both bump my microphone and walk in front of the screen. Oh, come here, little stupid. Oh, yeah, she's... Oh, you're so cute. Look at you. Get this 360-degree audio of you saying Morlax is cute. I'm just double-checking my audio. Oh, yeah, do not want to run into that. Oh, my God! Yeah. It's working. Yeah, I figured. Because if it wasn't working, it'd be like, uh... <laughs> Look, I mean, it's like, uh, luckily, I, we can get back into... This is about 20 minutes. I'd rather save it now. Oh, little kitten. You're just, you're so precious. She's, she's a fuzzball. I'm gonna be a wreck when you die. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh now, but it will be a tragedy. It'll, it'll be awful. Just wait till you replace her. It'll be awful. You're off. Oh, you probably still have like another good seven years in you. That's what you think. <laughs> Prepare to be surprised. So like <laughs> this, for example, like Tro uh, looks like it has a super small map, uh, but that's because they're silly old, old silly putty. Silly Puttroid. Don't worry. Also, I wrote a joke uh, for later on in this. Oh, cool. That's, uh, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good one. It's I doubt that. It's going to be an episode title as well. It's going to blow your fucking mind off. It's going to be at the very end of the game. Cool. Great. So I hope I remember to make it. <laughs> uh, I also haven't actually played through this in one sitting during any of these recent playthroughs. It's been a little bit stop and start. But my best time was 1.45. And if you get under two hours, you get the booby ending. Yeah, booby ending. Which, Sean Holloway, we're doing this for you. We're going to get that booby ending for you, hopefully. Well, he got the booby ending, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah that's right. I mean, it's going to be the Sean Holloway Memorial booby ending. <laughs> God rest his soul. Taken, <laughs> taken too young. 
I hope he dies either today or tomorrow <laughs> or else. Sean, we really need that this That bit's not going to work. Sean, come on. Come on. You've wanted to for a long time now. But wait, we're, we were going to play something with him. Ah, we? shit, yeah, we need him for Mario Party. Yeah, that's what it was. Damn. Oh, we're still talking about that 50-turn Mario Party. <laughs> <laughs> One of these days. Well, we did try to record it, to be fair. we just That was our first major recording hiccup. I don't know. Maybe. We we only got like, what, 20 minutes into the thing And then it discovered it was not recording it was... the audio or something. And then we're like, well, fuck it. I still want to do that, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is another thing. So, you have to go to these security rooms to unlock the different colored doors. It's not like a, it's locked behind power bombs or super missiles or anything like that. Which is, uh, meh. I, I, I actually... You can't really sequence break in this game. And I think that is a, a huge bummer. Which and, I'm not really one for sequence breaking anyway. But I think but. it's cool when you can. Also, the bomb jump in this game sucks balls. Um, you can't do like horse or yeah, uh, vertical bomb jumps very well. Oh, you're yeah. getting right in with that microphone. Yeah, I am. Oh yeah, there's this. There's nothing in that fucking room. What an idiot! But you went in there. Make anyway. that mistake every fucking time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we will have to like undo these hatches in order to progress in the levels, which involves ugh, finding the uh, hatch rooms and then unlocking them. And then sometimes you have to go like a really dumb convoluted route around it because this is this yeah. is Metroid. Because it doesn't give you the location of the hatch rooms. It gives you the location of where you're trying to go, but like they're like, oh, for security purposes, we can't tell you where yeah. that is. But generally, it's just like it's just like go uh, the oh, opposite okay. way of wherever you were already going. This game is pretty linear. It's not really yeah, that I, hard to find it anyway. I wouldn't mind seeing like a redo of this game. Yeah, it's called Other M. Fuck off! I'm not joking. Has Fantoon in it, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. And it's got a, a squid face, squish face. Does this the, have any, other than Ridley? Does this have any like recurring bosses? Yeah, the man in the tin can, Nightmare. Well, I mean, but this was Nightmare's debut. Yeah, but he showed up another. No, one. I'm talking about Fusion though. Like, oh, well, it's I, just like this bit of a departure from the other Metroids. I was talking about. You said a redo of this, and I was like, yeah. Oh, yeah, but then I, I, I got to myself thinking, it's like, doesn't this have mostly, like, original bosses in it? I guess. Yeah, because Yakuza is. <laughs> That's so great. It's weird, right? I did not know that. So why are you blowing it up? Just shoot it. What? Why didn't you just shoot it? Because it takes a lot of hits to kill, and I'm trying to go fast. This game gives you so many goddamn missiles, Zane. Like... I realized I had a small amount earlier, but you get so many fucking missiles in this. It is ridiculous. Like, I'll shoot some things, but other things are not worth... Other things are just not worth it. Shit. Not worth those. Lasers. Uh, we will be using the laser for one boss, though. We need for Ridley, actually. Cool. As it is much easier to kill Ridley because of his gigantic fucking hitbox with the wave beam than it will be to kill him with missiles. In fact, he's quite hard if you try to kill him with missiles. He's very easy to kill him with a wave beam. Also, I, to this day, have no idea how you're supposed to know how to do that. I think you're just supposed to be like, oh, fuck, just maybe i bombing I'm... everything and then it comes up, I guess, maybe. Because, I mean, that's kind of how you play Metroid anyway. It's like, maybe there's a secret in here, I'll that use the bombs. That shit hung me the fuck up when I was original, when I, my very first play. Okay. Let's see if I can do this on my first try. This playthrough sponsored by uh, Sonic, Sonic, by the, the way. The burger, not the hedgehog. You got that blue raspberry going on. You might have heard the crinkling of me eating it <laughs> like ten minutes ago. It's okay, we'll do... Um, No, I don't need to save. I haven't saved yet, I don't think. No, you definitely haven't. You don't want a, you don't want a Sean thing to happen, do you? Wait, what the fuck? I'm going to go out on a limb and say this isn't no, the I'm... correct room. Sworn it's right there. Apparently no, not. No, no, you're right. It's this room. Is that what you were looking for? No, it's right there. I'm uh, one of the things Sean specifically said is like he was gonna get, he was gonna. Sp oh wow, perfect, perfect RNG on that. He was gonna spit on me every time I uh. Say you're better than him. Every time I said I'm better than him. <laughs> And I, uh, I like the idea that he knows that map in Super Metroid as well as he does is I, I think that's super super impressive because like the reason I am doing it on this one is because it's a very it's very easy as fuck. yeah like it's an easy map to memorize. There are very few I guess like little kind of difficult choke points or anything. 
Um, I don't know. Uh, do you want to talk about Samus Returns at all? Have you been playing that? Yeah, I've been it? playing a little bit. I am enjoying it quite a bit so far. I really like that they've. I think they've really made combat good finally in a 2D Metroid. I don't. I think it's kind of annoying how everything charges at you, and like the only way to kill them is through the parrying parrying like those stupid little bat fuckers i hate those guys uh, see i like the parry though like i like doing the parry and having otportunities to do the parry Matthew it seems otherwise. like half the time when i'm fighting a metroid anyway the parry doesn't come up oh. they'll do like the super charge at me and it's like oh i can't parry this I mean, there's easier ways to kill the Metroids. I, I, well, I guess yeah, you're right. I, just, they, the, I always just, do, 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 just fucking pump them full of missiles. Um, I do like this game has a jump ball, though. Also that you get it so early because I think having to like bomb jump to do tiny things is super fucking tedious. 